I've got two main objectives for today. One is to shred as much powder as possible after the fresh snow. Two is to track and get as much vertical as possible. I'm using Strava to follow all my movements today, so we'll see how we get on. Fresh snow, not great visibility, quite a lot of fog. We'll make the most of it. Whoa. Oh. Oh. What's going on there? Oh yeah. Oh wow. I just don't know where this is. Oh, she's a winter wonderland today. Sorry, dude. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys can see this. Because I can't. <laughs> This is starting to feel like proper Revelstoke skiing now. We've got the soft, dry champagne powder that is just easily being pushed around. It doesn't feel heavy. It's nice and light, um, but still really hard to see, especially up in the bowls right now. I've done two runs from Sweet Spot and Meet the Neighbours, I think it was. And yeah, I just couldn't see where I was going. The snow felt okay, but I just couldn't see any bit of terrain even with my clear goggles so I'm going to stick down in the glades here in Ripper um, because I think that's where it's going to be best for Viz. Whoa oh that's deep! Oh, oh. oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> Oh, nice! <laughs> oh. Leg burner. Let's try snorkel glades. I've not done this one yet this winter. Uh, maybe we should switch. Let's switch to the 360 here.
The first set of glades I did there was stop at the road glades, which first time again for me this season, really loved it. But then we went afterwards, after getting on the ripper chair, we did snorkel glades. Now, snorkel glades was a lot more choppy. It was a lot more stop start. Um, there was a lot more logs and obstacles. For those of you in the YouTube shorts who keep commenting why I'm following people's tracks in some of these gladed areas where there's powder, that is exactly why right now. I will make my own tracks when there's two meters of snow, but not before. Okay, now another new set of glades for this season. Powder monkey glades. So my Strava app is telling me I've done about 20 miles of skiing, which is not the unit of measurement I wanted. I want to know how much vertical I've done kilometers wise. It is showing me all the runs I've done, which is pretty good for tracking, but you'll have to wait to the end of this video, I guess, to get the full stats breakdown. Now uh, we're going into Glades of Glory. <laughs> You good, mate? I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> uh. 
Just gotta watch out for that river creek. Oh boy. Woohoo! Oh yes! This might be the best run of the day, I think. <laughs> oh, watch out for the tight spaces. It's a little gutting that uh, everything up in the bowls is just shrouded in that fog because all the conversations we had on the live stream was let's go hit Gracias Ridge, North Bowl, Powder Rosal, all these areas uh, to really kind of show you guys how it is in there right now. But uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a no-go today. But it's been snowing constantly all day, which is a big positive, big tick in the box. And it's been fun ripping up these glades. Now heading into monkey bars, got to find the entrance, then top 40 and back 40. Oh, this is a little, a little trapped. Oh, whoa! Ah! 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 Ah, I'm good. I'm good. Ah, we go again. <laughs> but uh, this just proves like it's not all Easy riding still in this area. But that, hoo hoo hoo, this looks nice. Oh yes please, yes please. Woo hoo, woo hoo. Oh. Woo -hoo. <laughs> no way, oh that's deep, yeah. Oh, keep going, keep going. All right, a little bit of a wide part of the top there, but good recovery. That was fun. On to top 40 glades. Oh, what's going on here? That's a tree falling down, eh? Oh, shit, is that a tree well? Ah. Whoa! Okay. No thanks. Woo! That's pretty cool. Conditions are improving, as you can see, but it's not perfect Revy Pow just yet. There is a lot of stuff underneath that powder that you need to watch out for. Um, because, yeah, one false turn right now and you could be off a cliff, which nobody wants today. We're trying to stay alive, remember? Um, we're now heading back up into the fog, uh, which is sitting probably about three quarters of the way up the ripper right now. So everything above that is just super hard to see. Legs are getting pretty worn out right now. I'm gonna try and head back over to Stoke though, uh, get a couple of laps in there, and then we'll see where we're at. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was a truly epic day on the mountain and the legs are feeling it right now, which is a good thing. Let's get into the stats of the day because like I said, I was using Strava to track my progress um, and yeah, I wanna go through just exactly how I did. So in terms of the amount of vertical that I did, um, it was 22,521 feet. That comes to around 68, 6,800 meters in terms of the vertical. Max elevation, so that's the highest point that I was at, 7,332 feet, which is around 20, that's 2,234 meters above sea level. So that was sort of right on the very uh, top there of the mountain coming into some of the bowls. Speed, I was quite interested to see just how fast I was going. Um, it, apparently averaging around about nine miles an hour, um, which, uh, you know, not not, not the, the super quickest, but I'm, I'm not too fussed about speed. Max speed I was going though was 43 miles an hour. Now, if you convert that into kilometers, that's around about uh, 70 kilometers an hour. So yeah, it had a couple of quick moments on the, uh, on the, on the down front there, but I, I don't use too much tracking obviously, but it was it was nice to just see how it was I was doing. The thing I've always really, really like about Strava is the map at the end. Um, I'll put that actually in, in, in a bigger vision so you can see exactly all the runs that I did. But uh, all in all, a thoroughly enjoyable day and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please like this video, leave your comments, been loving the engagement so far, so keep it coming. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and then stay tuned for the next video. Cheers guys.